right, just another quick update. Um, got the bell piece in, got my sides in, and pretty much the rest of the floor. So, came out pretty good, I think. So, nothing set in place yet. Still need to um, do some work underneath them first. And then uh, I want to figure out how to get the carpet on and, and all that good stuff in individual sections. So, a little more work to do yet. But at least I can walk around on it now. <laughs> Better than jumping from beam to beam. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually maybe work on mounting the seats. Or getting at least the holes cut to mount the seats, and then uh, then I might put hatches in these two back panels. I'm not sure yet. I yeah, just leave them out for now. But it's getting there. Just gonna make a quick video here. Um, I'm gonna just run through the updates to the interior. So obviously, I got pretty much the entire floor in. Um, I still got to build my, my uh, drywell or drywell or what do we call this hatch done yet. Um, I got the floors mounted in place. There's a helicopter going over. Got the floors all mounted in place. I got the uh, the holes drilled for the seat posts. As you can see the two by fours there line up on each side of that. It should be very durable. Um, I left enough spacing in between, so I'm going to wrap these in carpet. Wrap the carpet underneath the bottom. So these will all be individual panels that I can pull out um, when I want to. In total, there's uh, five pieces that make up the bow, or the, uh, the stern, middle, and then one piece for the bow, and then just one little, uh, eh, tiny little piece there just to get around the, uh, the lines. Um, so yeah, I got bracing on underneath there. I think I've already done a video on that. Um, so I got a lot of work to do yet, but feeling pretty good. So I'm actually just working on the bow seating now. So I'm trying to build this bow seating to be a, a little more structural than it was before. Um, this piece is actually going to mount right in here. Something to that effect. And then, uh, that's going to be my bow, but it's also going to be the, uh, you know, the steering column and passenger side supports as well. So there's going to be a, basically a piece of wood coming from here straight down to this. Um, and then over here, all this side is going to be covered with one piece that's going to wrap down and just fill out this section where I have that brace in the floor. So this back like six inches will be kind of open and exposed, um, but I can't run anything down because it'll be on top of the uh, on top of the hatch, giant hatch cover I'm making. Well, I think it's going to be pretty sleek though. It should look pretty nice. Clean up that area quite a bit, and then this will all be open, so I'll be able to access um, access underneath my seating from the front of uh, from where I'm sitting from the steering column and stuff. So. So I think that'll help me out with some of my space issues. Uh, I might have to build, you know, some kind of net in here or something that I can open and close just in case I hit rough waters. I don't want anything bouncing back on me while I'm while I'm moving. But uh, otherwise, it should give me a lot of extra space down here. Um, so yeah, we'll see. See how it comes out. But feeling pretty good about this so far. I'm going to try to put this last piece in. This might be my last video for the season. At this point it's pretty chilly out, it's about 30 degrees, kind of snowing a little bit. So I might kind of pack up the boat for the year and hit it again in the spring. We'll see. Let's see if I can sneak out one more day or not. Alright, it's more like this will be the last video. Maybe, maybe I'll hit it again tomorrow real quick. But basically, uh, got that whole framework kind of built for the uh, support for the um, the steering column, um, you know, pretty good. Might have been about an eighth of an inch off in some of my measurements, so it's got a little bow to it, but not a big deal. 
Same on this side, I was able to get just the bracing. My goal was to just get the bracing in to support the, uh, you know, the actual um, dashboards. Uh, that way, if snow piles up on this thing over the winter, uh, it doesn't crack them off or break over something crazy. So, I feel pretty good about how that came out. They seem pretty strong. In fact, I was standing on it before. No issue. Um, had to do a little bit of a custom work here. I'm not super proud of that job, but basically there's, I'd say about an inch of wood supporting that whole bench now with the fiberglass there and then that one corner. It's built up on the side and it's built up underneath and, and it's, I mean, it's pretty strong. Again, not super happy, but been able to stand on it, no problem. And apparently not gonna drill. So yeah, I might finish out this bow. Um, so basically that's the support for the bow. Um, and then uh, there'll just be one brace kind of running across the, uh, let's see from about here across somewhere to the other side. That'll just be that front pocket to be open. I'll probably widen that out. Right, widen that bow out a little bit on the seat there where those boxes are so I can have another additional storage spot up front there. Um, that's about it. It's coming along pretty good, pretty happy with it. Just running out of time and it's getting cold, so. We'll see, might hit it again tomorrow for a little bit, but I think I'll call it for tonight since I can't really see anything anymore. All right. Uh, just doing a quick demo on how to uh, quarterly film stuff. <laughs> um, can't really see real well, but basically the whole floor is done. I've kind of already got the boat winterized, so I don't feel like taking the tarps off and everything. Um, but I was just working in the bow and figured I'd get a quick video of the uh, the back being kind of finished. So got the seat posts in. Um, I got the the uh, flooring actually screwed down now. Just a couple screws holding each piece. Uh, there's five pieces that make up the back here. Um, all shaped into place. I uh, put even gaps in between them so I can still wrap the carpet in. I'll do a video on that once I actually get carpet and put it in. Then I still gotta do the side walls. So, moving back into the bow. Just kind of finished that up today. I now have seating for the most part. Put the cushion in. But everything's framed out, it came out pretty good. Um, so I'll do some more cleanup and stuff in here, but basically the majority of the frame is done. Just gonna use some PVC board as paneling across the uh, this inside part here, and then I'll have nice storage down there. Way more open space to get stuff in than the last uh, setup I had here. Um, I only had about probably six by eight inch hole here that I could actually get stuff in so this will give me a lot more access um, came out pretty good had to do a little more work in that corner than I really wanted um, it's not not as clean as I would like but definitely strong definitely functional uh, I sit on these panels you can jump up and down on them you don't get any movement at all so it works pretty well so that's about it and then we got the uh, supports done for uh, the dash so this thing is super solid you can stand on it no issues there so this is mostly done this is probably all i'm gonna do for the rest of the season uh actually inside the boat and then um once uh once the weather breaks we'll get started i gotta make the uh the cover here get the carpet in um get the paneling cut and added here i'm gonna put paneling on these sides uh going straight down uh, and then just one panel across here. So this will actually be open. I want to be able to access it from the uh, the cab uh, I might just put some netting in there or something that can pop up and down um, You know, it's not like I can take this thing out of raging waters, so I don't mind if, if things move around a little bit I'm not expecting uh, anything too nuts um, Maybe I'll have to put some kind of I'll have to put some kind of you know, a little brace in there or something just to Maybe hold my anchor or whatever I put in here in place. Um, ideally, I'd like to mount a battery somewhere up in here for the trolling motor. Uh, so I can put that back in. Just have a battery mounted up here. 
All right, hook up to the charging system, but we'll see uh, see how that goes. That might be another, another year before I do that. So that's about it. Signing off on the boat for the year. Some wiring I gotta fix up, clean up there. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Get more updates when I have.